Hi Pisces, this is your romance reading for March 2022 and welcome back. Thank you for all your likes and shares and just a little bit of news. Tonight we are going live to celebrate the 3,000 members as I have promised you. Also there will be free readings from Dean, Brenda, me and Kathy. And you can ask a question. It is free of charge. Nothing, no, um, uh, no uh, super chats or stickers. But if you want, wish to donate, then you're more than welcome. Also, uh, you won't get one reading, but you'll get four. That will answer your question. So there is most probably a possibility that you'll get a, a good idea uh, what uh, your answer is to your question. That could help you immensely. Also, let's get started. The time is 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 10 o'clock European Time. Now it's either 1 o'clock Central or Pacific uh, and 3 o'clock. So have a look. Um, I don't know out of my head. Have a look on the channel whilst you're here anyway. Also, um, you come in with the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands means things are happening rapidly, very fast and quick and all at once. So get prepared for a busy time. Remember to take time out so that you can stay balanced and rejuvenated. You could be going on holiday or you could be traveling for work. Also, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So if you've made an investment, you might be harvesting um, this month in romance. So if you've put yourself out there, you might have caught somebody's eye and you might be um, partnering up. For those that are married, there um, you might be finding out that you're pregnant or there could be a new project. If you're too mature uh, to get pregnant, then you might be hearing of a birth. This can be of a child, but also of a project. So you could be mothering or nurturing something new. This could be um, rekindling the flame um, that you have put yourself, uh, all your energy into rekindling um, an existing flame. Whether you're together, hooked up, living, married or whatever, uh, uh, perhaps you might want to reconcile and you've put out there the seeds. You've said, I'm sorry, and uh, let's get back together about. Uh, uh, let's get back together again, and think about it, and then come back to me. And this is the could be the news. The news will come through cyber, email, text message, or a telephone call. It could be news about finance. It could be news about child support. It could be news about a child or somebody that is younger. Perhaps you might have a toy boy or a toy girl <laughs> and um, they are um, wanting to reconnect with you. Okay, perhaps the news could come from a Capricorn because the page of pentacles is Capricorn or a Virgo or a Leo. You've got a magical reading Pisces again. Um, it is quite spiritual. It is also very motherly, nurturing and caring. That's the energy that I get from the cards because this is Mother Earth, the Queen of Pentacles. She represents Virgo and the Queen of Cups represents Leo prominently, but don't forget the other signs. It could be anybody and it doesn't have to be a female. It can also be a male. So if you uh, are a male, you could be more nurturing and more intuitive. After all, it is Pisces energy that we are in. So you, I think you are earthed and more in tune with what you want and how you want to go about it, like the Queen of Cups. She is very empathic, intuitive, and she is very spiritual. Um, but the Queen of Pentacles, she knows what she sows, so she goes for it, like the Queen of Wands really, and you do have the Wands. I feel you are really on top of your game and on top of the world with your energy. So happy birthday to all the Pisarians that haven't had their birthday yet, and I hope you will have a beautiful month, generally and in romance. 
some of you could be partnering up definitely because there's news flying everywhere this could be news about love passion because we've got love and passion here we've got the nurturing here sensuality feminine uh, being the feminine side of you or uh, being the lady you could be more sensual and more sexy Ooh, nice one and look at all the energy that's flowing through the air and the sun rising here it is so beautiful so perhaps there could be a relationship that is transforming into a tangible durable and a long-term relationship because that's what the pentacle the queen of pentacles represents but also a very nurturing loving and passionate relationship like the water energy definitely for long term so there could be news floating about will you want to go out with me or do you want to get engaged with me or do you want to come and live with me make a unit your hard work is going to pay off look at those vibrations and energy flowing through the air it looks like fireworks is in your reading spices the eight of pentacles means recognition going on to the next level being promoted as mother perhaps you'll be finding out that you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions but you have a well balanced um, steady um, in emotions and physical relationship for those that are going through divorce yes I'm sorry but you are stable and your emotions are stable you do know what you want and you are being seen by potential new partners like I said it could be a Virgo it can uh, be a Capricorn or a Leo that said it can be of course anybody but it doesn't matter whether you're a woman or a man you are grounded and you're more um, in tune with your emotions and intuition awesome love it you've got two number eights so that's the house of power and the house of money there could be news about money okay also promotions so perhaps that would help to buy that house or to get that loan or to um, pay for the wedding or to start a family because we've got the mothers here and usually I both of them are either carrying a child or have a child sitting next to them but definitely the um, queen pardon me the queen of pentacles usually is depicted with a baby a tummy with being pregnant I love this reading I really do and I hope your wishes are going to come true your birthday wishes remember this is your new year your solar year that means that from your birthday you'll start a new cycle a new year also um, everybody has two new years the the, the uh, calendar one and the zodiac one so enjoy your new year and I hope all your wishes will come true whether you're single whether you're going through a divorce that it will be um, done quickly rapidly and uh, emotionally okay that you won't get stressed out too much or have too much sadness within you or around you um, from the romance oracle deck it, we have it is safe for you to love yes even if you're um, single or going through a divorce you are allowed to love everybody deserves love especially you because you are on your own and you're trying to survive but don't jump in and with all this fireworks going on don't jump into the frying pan into the fire or from the fire into the frying pan I'm sorry I don't know that saying but somebody's just come in and said it to me don't jump into the deep end boom if you're still going through a divorce make sure you start off with a friendship and start building that friendship to a special friendship earth yourself in this relationship but use your intuition okay don't isolate yourself or shut yourself off 
don't just go for the passion go for uh, the emotions the intuitiveness and steadiness and then it will turn into um, a long-term relationship so it is safe for you to love and if you are hooked up then show a little bit more love than usual use your intuition and your ideas be creative create something like the queen of pentacles does she creates from a seed a plant and harvest so there you go we also have the brown angel feather and we've got two pentacles and that means grounding earth so yes you are grounded like i said but to ignite the, uh, the the passion of light or fire or to start off a new relationship or to enhance the present one it needs a practical approach that means get sexy get attractive be nurturing so go for it and do something practical and useful like um, making dinner a candle uh, lit supper or get the kids out of the way and um, use this make it quality time use the time that you are allocating for you and your partner and see how the fire works who fly boom boom yeah okay you've got the brown angel feather and that means that you're grounded also a practical approach is required like i said the angels advise you to focus on practicalities um, at this moment one step at a time you can't run before you can walk so that's why you need to build up a new relationship or enhance your present relationship step by step and enjoy it have the see the fun of being adventurous and inventive on how to create fun for nothing it doesn't have to cost anything the brown angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of grounding the color brown is a mixture of three primary colors red that's the root chakra yellow the um, emotional chakra and the blue the throat chakra so say what you do and do what you say enjoy let your emotions uh, emotional chakra open up and ground yourself at the same time these cards do respond to this the angels suggest that it is important to ground yourself each day visualize a grounding structure coming from your feet and going right down through the earth finally connect the grounding structure into very the very center of the earth the structure you visualize could be a tree root system anchors change any uh, chains anything that you connect with personally this simple exercise will keep you feeling stable and secure at all times during the day the angels know that when you are grounded your concentration is number one and fantastic and that is how you can make clear and precise decisions and then everything or the processes will improve consequently your calm and reliable approach will put others at ease in a stressful situation the crystals that you can use to um, balance things your chakras and your emotions etc etc and help you to detox is tiger's eye petrified wood and bronzite archangel sandalphon is the guardian of the earth the archangel uriel that is the root chakra and that is also he's also the angel of earth archangel ariel is the angel of nature so enjoy these angels call upon them when you need to you also have the card honesty to thine own self be true so be honest with yourself if you are feeling down in the dumps or less attractive 
that make you come into action and make yourself attractive go to the hairdresser or go to the beauty parlor and uh, make yourself feel good then you will also reach out or shine out that you're attractive so go for that and I'm going to go a little bit further than normal with the, these cards um, I don't know all of them by heart but here we go Archangel Michael asks you to be totally honest with yourself it is time to put yourself first Remember, love yourself first, then you can love another. Care for yourself, then you can care for another. This sword is presented symbolically to you by Archangel Michael as a call for definite action. Now is the perfect time to take the inventory of your life and your romance relationship. The direction in which it is heading. Archangel Michael has been witness to your acts of self-sacrifice. He understands your obligations and responsibilities and is witness to how deeply you love and care for those around you, especially your partner. However, now it is time to truly examine and reassess what you like to achieve and your life's purpose. Archangel Michael stands beside you. You know you now beside you now as you face a crossroads in life. He requests that you are brutally honest with yourself and choose the direction that is just just and true for your highest good. Before making decisions on which direction to take Archangel Michael suggests that you carefully examine and consider all options. Archangel Michael acknowledges that God has bestowed upon you the gift of free will. However, he stands beside you, supporting and guiding you to make informed decisions. Divine or the cosmos, um, whoever you would like to call upon, plan for you, planned for you or the divine's plan for you is one that allows your heart to sing and your soul to dance to thine own self be true so be clear be be true to yourself okay then you will become clearer and transparent for the others i hope you have enjoyed this reading my darling little pisces and just not only go with the flow, but steer your way to where you want to go. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and join us tonight. Brenda is our Pisces and I think D Kathy has Pisces in her as well and Virgo. So, wow. I hope you enjoy uh, join us tonight. Take care and have a wonderful month. Good luck.